Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steve here. And Luca. And we have and a I'm special guest. And I'm Jerson. Yep. Yeah, I'm Jerson. You're finally on here. <laughs> yeah, finally on the show in the past few months, and I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be on this show. I mean, like, in the past few months, the... I mean, like, it was kind of like the AKB draft in which I was going to figure out which uh, YouTube short podcast I was going to be on related to Japanese idols. And I could have been on, like, 48 Talk or the Slow Podcast. But if I was on Slow Pox, I would be, like, the traitor of that podcast. And, or, like, <laughs> or, like, be an MB for the party. But, I mean, I'm glad I'm going to be on this show because, I'm, like, I get to be, like, impartial. Although I'm kind of thinking that this podcast might be a bit dedicated to SKE48 since <laughs> I might be talking about them a lot. No, 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 no. You're thinking of SK Encore. We do have a bunch of SKE news to talk about, but we generally try to talk about uh, all of the groups it, it's and all the like topics as well. It's kind oh, of I think the, oh, okay, but it, it's, it's, it's probably the same. But so, oh, okay, go, go say that again. It's kind of our joke because we talk about SKE too much. <laughs> oh, but, 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 but I mean, I like SKE too, but like, okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So you can go and introduce yourself, your Oshimans, anything that you want to say. Okay, to yeah. To yeah, I'll just, well, I mean, this, this probably might be a very long story, but I'll try to oh, tell fine. the entire story. Oh, you gotcha. Okay. So, um, how I found out about, like, like AKB48 is actually like me and my sister were like obviously like J-pop and like mm. around the time we like explored the world of J-pop like including like Arashi and AAA and then mm. at one point somehow like my sister like uh, somehow showed me like a bit of AKB48 and I when I saw the footage of it and I said hmm are they like this uh, group that has like 48 members and then as the years go by, I kind of learned that they actually have more than that now have at least like 400 members. <laughs> but, then, but then like, and then the first like KV video that I actually watched was the video for every Kishusha and then that was actually like great. But the oh. one that got me very interested in, of AKB is when I saw like the group performing on NHK Gohaku in 2013 when they performed probably the biggest song that they probably made, Corsero Fortune Cookie. And I heard it, it's like, it's actually a great song, kind of has that 1970s disco sound and like gets everyone involved. Hmm. And then I just kind of like follow them as I watch like Enishiko Haku and like the years after that. But like, after that, then like, but also somehow like, uh, about a year, like, uh, when I followed the uh, group like full time uh, last year, I like somehow like, uh, like, kind of like learn about all their music and their history at the same and then like watching the various shows about that and like kind of got into but then in about it since like since that happened i mean like i know a lot of things changed with of course with with the like, produce 48 and like many members leaving the group and like the ngt 48 controversy which and boy like the like the group is kind of like very different than what happened last year mm -hmm. mm. and like uh, also like but I mean, like, the thing about the group is that hopefully, like, the hope for the group is that they will probably still make music the next few years. I mean, they got they got STU at 48, which actually, many people may know, but they're actually doing very well, and they, they're both finally opened. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, also that with SKE 48's next single, which we're going to talk later, will probably could change everything. Mm -hmm. But now to the story of how I found about the uh, the 46 group. So I first heard of them when, I, when they performed on NHK Kohaku in 2015 when they performed like Your Name is Hope. And um, that song was actually like really good. But then like as I kind of learned about AKB48 and then learned more about like uh, all like about the groups and then like I was saying that like um, but they're actually starting to do very well and uh, then I learned more about the other groups, including Keaki Zaka, during like the infamous incident that happened when they performed in, uh, like Discord in like 2017, and then also learned about like the like uh, Hinata Zaka and how they and their entire story, and now they made like probably at least right now the made the best uh, idol Japanese idol songs this year so far with Kune, and then like uh, and then Yoshi, how about Yoshimoto Zaka and like. 
hmm, they're actually they're an interesting group in case that somehow in Japan right now there's like a lot of like uh, musicians that have comedians as well in them. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And then like yeah, so it's like somehow, but we're kind of in an era right now where we have like like in the previous decade the biggest groups in Japan were Arashi and AKB48, and, and maybe like and now today and there's the, the biggest groups in Japan are probably uh. Nogizaka 46 and maybe Sexy Zone? Or King and Prince? Hmm. I'm not too well informed on the male idol side, so. Uh, I know, but that's. Okay, so now my favorite members of the. Each of those groups. So, um. In the AKB 48, well, my favorite member is actually, like, Minami Minagishi because, like, she's actually, like, very fine and surprisingly still in the. The, the only original member that's still in the group and and like what, I, what convinced me to like it's like as I was watching to AK40's music videos and like uh, when I got when I saw like the, like what, the video for one of the theme songs of the Gakuen series and then kind of said, oh, oh Magic Gakuen Magic Gakuen yeah and like said, oh she looks interesting and then when I saw the uh, video for Miracle from Above and then like I said and then I saw her in the beginning of the video, I said like yeah, I'm convinced that she's my favorite member, and despite the little <laughs> like situation where she had to shave her ha- her hair off, I mean, I kind of get the point why she did, and I, I mean, I still support her even though it happened. And then like, but I mean, like, hopefully she'll still be in the group the next few years, and maybe she'll have a big comeback. Hmm. Yeah, and then the, then for the for the forty six groups, my favorite member is actually like. Rene Yamazaki from Nogizaka 46 because I'm um, kind of find her like fun and I everything about her is that she actually saw a comment that I made in one of her showrooms she did and like and I couldn't she I said told her that she's my favorite member in the group and she responded she's told me thank you oh yeah and she's and she's doing great I mean like when I saw her in the videos there it's all and finally my favorite like members in Eyes One well my favorite member in the Group overall is um, uh, Yuji and Anon because like I find her fun like when I saw her like on Produce 48 and on Eyes One Chu, and then my favorite Japanese member in the group is Itomi Honda because uh, mm. kind of find her a bit fun and interesting. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you for telling us how you got into these groups. You're welcome. No. Where do you want to start with the news? I'd say let's uh, start with SKE since that is the most news that's on here. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's start off with the big news. Most probably next to the graduated members hmm. too. There's quite a bit of graduated members news. Uh-huh. But we'll start with SKE. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's start start off with the big news, the one where um oh, everyone's happy. Start... Why me and Colin are extremely happy. I should okay. say. Okay. <laughs> so for a bit of a recap so uh, a couple days ago SKE did a special showroom which was um well we're not going to announce anything super important so you don't have to watch no I, I kind of had a hint of what was going to happen beforehand I, I kind of had it <laughs> yeah it's like you see that title and you're like nah there's there's a catch somewhere they came, they came it low key probably yeah, and they went along with it, too, at the beginning. Like, they started out, Nao and Chikako are there, and they're talking about really, really unimportant stuff. <laughs> like, they're talking about, like, oh, like, Chikako, for example, today for lunch I had dorayaki. <laughs> or now talking about, oh, I went to Yakiniku for three days in a row. <laughs> or, like, Yuasa getting sunburned. It's like, Really unimportant news. And then Yuasa walks in and is like, well, I know we said we're not going to make any important announcements, but we have a very big announcement to make. And it was, of course, the announcement for their 25th single, Mm -hmm. which included the lineup of the members who were included, which I will announced that in the YouTube video as well. Hmm? And they also announced it in a YouTube video as well. Yes, yes, they did. They posted mm-hmm. a YouTube video up after the showroom happened. Mm-hmm. So we have uh, Arai Yuki, Ego Yuna, 
Obamina, uh, Soda Sarina, Takayanagi Akane, Takeuchi Saki, Hidaka Yuzuki, Kamata Natsuki, Kumazaki Haruka, Sato Kaho, Sudakari Suenaga Oka, Matsui Jurina. We have four new members who are now included in the Simbatsu. From Team S, Inoue Ruka, Nojima Kano, and Matsumoto Chikako. Mm -hmm. And from Team E, Asai Yuka. Mm -hmm. And our center mm -hmm. is Team K2, Furuhata Nao. Yes! It's the big gig! Yeah. Me and Colin have been going on about this, Ruka. You know. Me and Colin were like, yes. we want an yeah. Alex Hunter. We want an Alex Hunter. We're finally getting it. So, like, I am extremely happy. But like, yeah, everyone good. was going crazy about this when it was announced. I mean, it was probably expected because she's probably going to be the next face of the group. Hmm. Well, if yeah. the song, the next single is actually all great. Oh, I'm sure um, it will be. Like, oh, I have it, no it, doubt. It will be. It will be. Yeah. And I found going to do something really good with this next single. And there's been some rumors that the video of, music video of the song might be filmed in Hawaii, they said. Yeah, that's what 48 Talk talked well, about. Well, like, that. from from what they have been, like, hinting from, like, the showroom and uh, at other recent venues, like, it's definitely going to be a summer song. Mm. And um, also, SK, they recently had their final concert in their Kanto tour. Oh, yeah, SK uh, Bingo. Kaho, Sato Kaho mentioned during an MC, it's like, I get to show off my specialty. <laughs> so, I can only guess... <laughs> I can only oh my guess god, what Kaho. that means. Knowing Sato Oh Kaho. my god. That's that that's that's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. no. But there were also there were also two other pretty big announcements that were made on that same showroom. Mm -hmm. So the first is they are actually going to revive their nationwide tour this September. Mm -hmm. Now, this is their uh, nationwide tour that they have done. They did, like, way back, like, a couple of years ago. Like, I think it started back in 2014. So it's, like, five years. Oh, yeah, five years since they did a very uh, big tour. And I know that there are a couple of videos up of a segment of the concert, like, where members could, like, get a camera and, like, film on stage while they were performing. Oh yeah, they also did so that they're... during the a AKB Sprint Festival when they performed as well. They were they filmed with their cameras and put on social media. So they did that during uh, the nationwide tour. So it's going to be very cool to see them uh, continuing the tour. Um, it's going to start in September, and they are doing it all the way into March of next year. Mm. Uh, some of the places they're going to are Fukushima, Nagano, Gifu, Fukui, Miyazaki, year? Oita, and mm. Kumamoto. Let's mm. see if I can get some tickets. Ooh. <laughs> hey, yeah, then maybe we might see you in the audience when they like record the uh, <laughs> the concert for the Blu-ray set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then they are also going to start doing. The Teotsunagi Nagara stage at the theater on July 9th. So mm -hmm. this will be along with all of the other current stages that they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's no details yet on what the lineup for the show will be. I imagine it's going to be similar to what they've been doing with the Seishun Girls, where since they didn't have any Kinkyusei, they had yeah, say, current that, members yeah. from different teams doing that. So I imagine they could do something like that. So, and the, let's go back to, like, the lineup. I'm finally hearing, like, Team S is finally getting some love. <laughs> I know what <laughs> you mean. Because it's just the past singles, other than I believe, no, yeah, the past singles, it's just been Jarena and Yuha have been Team S members. Yeah. So they're finally expanding oh. Team S. It, it that's, is kind of it. bittersweet, though, that Yuha is not included in the lineup for this. Especially because, uh, as we know, like, Ryoha and Chikako are really close friends, and they talked about they wanted to get in Senbatsu together. Hmm. Maybe the next single that will happen. Hopefully. 
Yeah. Because Rioja's, Rioja has denied that she's graduating. She's not graduating. She has denied those new mm-hmm. rumors. Oh. So hopefully the two of them will be able to get into the Senbatsu for a single together. No. Yeah, hopefully. Mm. No, what do you think about the four new members? The both of you. What, I'm, what do you I'm think happy the for them. Members? Kind of similar to like you said. I'm happy that we're getting to see more Team S girls representing. Especially with like Kano, for example. How she's been doing incredibly well. She's gotten an amazing push since she won the uh, singing competition. Yeah, uh, yeah. Inoue Aruka, too. She's been getting uh, a bit of a push lately. I've been seeing quite a bit of her. Mm. And Chikako, too. I like that she's starting to kind of get that, too. It's kind of like... For me, she kind of started to uh, fall off my radar, but I am starting to see her again, so that mm. makes me happy. Yeah, I also kind of know it was like when I saw a tweet from Oricon, it shows a picture of the lead members in the single, and I said, hmm, this is probably might be the... The, the new era of SK48, and it's like mm. the new faces of the group. So, I mean, and with Kano Nojima, because she won the scene competition, it's probably going to be a very big boost for her, and she actually sings great, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, and if, if it is true, then maybe we could get her solo song in this single. Oh, yeah, because uh, but just before we were doing the, the episode, I, made, I said that somehow one of the prizes of her winning the scene competition is that she gets uh, an original, uh, a, 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 a solo tra- single re- written by Yasushi Akimoto. So it's probably going to be, it's a big boost for her. Is there anything else you guys would want to see from the single? Because personally, there are like two things I would love to see. Tiny mm-hmm. Dust Couple song. <laughs> well, yes, that would be good. But like for me is one... I want a new Love Crescendo song because we haven't gotten one in a while since uh, their coupling song in Muishiki no Iro. I know that Yunana and Renahyu have graduated, but I would still like to see some new Love Crescendo. Mm-hmm. And then this is just this is just wishful thinking. I don't know if they're going to do this or not, but I would love if they included a studio recording of the theme song to Hamlet because that song is awesome. Well, it's very likely, probably. I mean, they probably recorded it, and probably they will, like, put it in the single. I mean, I hope. If they don't uh, do it, I'll have no problem against it. It's just I would have loved, like, a studio recording of that song, because hearing it when they did it in the play, and then uh, kind of a spoiler for later talking on, I did actually get to see the live stream of the final concert in their Kanto tour. I saw the live stream for that, and they performed that song. They were all in costume and everything, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome! Maybe they could adapt it into, like, maybe a film. And make a film version, and maybe it's probably going to be as the play. Mm. No, I don't know. I don't know about doing a film version, because, like, film and stage play are, like, two completely different mediums. Oh, but I mean, if they can make it work, it will work. Well, either way, it's like, if they don't do it, I'm still content with it. I still think it was an awesome song. Oh yeah. But yeah. I do want a new Love Crescendo song in the single, oh, yeah. if at all possible. Well, for the music video of the single, I'm I'm thinking that they might do something, maybe like the vid- music video of like No Yuzaka 46's summer single last year, like something like that, probably. Ah, Jikuchu. Yeah, Jikuchu, yeah. Maybe something like that. Hmm. Hmm. I want something with a Ryuki in a subunit. <laughs> in a unit. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I want Alma uh-huh. Abe in a unit. Um, may- oh, maybe you know what would be actually really amazing? You have Bird Mom and Bird Daughter do a song about birds. Oh, I can <clears throat> make it. That would be great. Yeah. Great uh, unit track. That sounds very <laughs> unlikely. <laughs> I would love it if they do that. That would be amazing. Oh, and I talked to Miki actually a few times in the showroom. She's actually great. Hmm. And with her birds in her, uh, in her, uh, like, in her house. <laughs> kind of like my Since birds. we did bring this up, we'll talk about this. So, mm-hmm. their uh, concert in Nagoya Century Hall for the Kanto Tour is going to have a delayed viewing in cinemas. 
Mm -hmm. I have to look up when this is going to be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So this seems to be kind of similar for what they've done with Hamlet. Like, they live-streamed it on Hulu, and now they're going to have a delayed viewing in movie theaters. It's kind of cool to see that they're doing this. So yeah, it will have a delayed viewing on June the 7th. So that's coming mm. up within a week or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, um, was this a couple days ago or was this yesterday? For Sato Kaho injured herself during Miko T's graduation stage? This was today. Oh, that was today. Not today. So yes, uh, Uchiyama Mikoto did have her graduation stage today, and unfortunately, Sato Kaho, who is uh, Mik Mikoti's Oshiman, mm -hmm. she, uh, at the very first song, Mammoth, she tripped on the stairs, and I actually oh. saw a gif of it when it happened. It, she took a pretty hard fall from what I saw, oh. and she was like rushed to the hospital, so she missed uh -oh. the rest of the stage. But is she doing well? Well, um, let's see. I don't think there's any update on her current condition yet, but she did send out a tweet apologizing to her fans that she had gotten injured and couldn't be there for the rest of the stage to see uh, Mikoti off. Oh, so she'll make a full recovery. I hope she uh, gets well soon. Although, she is also... Um, SKE is going to perform at the Chukyo TV Matsuri, on June the 1st and the 2nd, she is going to have to miss out on the performance on June the 2nd, which is unfortunate. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I hope, hope she's doing well. That It's not too serious of an injury, and oh, yeah. she will be able to recover. Uh -huh. As for uh, talking about the Chukyo TV Matsuri event, we do have uh, some of the lineups for both days. Mm. So for June the 1st, we have uh, Otani Yuki, Nakano Airi, Nishi Marina, Hirata Shina, Aomi Hinano, Akahori Kimie, Arano Himeka, Ikeda Kaede, Ishikawa Kanon, Ohashi Mako, Okamoto Ayaka, Shirai Yukino, Suzuki Ana, Tanabe Mitsuki, Nakasaka Miyu, and Hirano Momona. Hmm. A majority of that day are the Kenkyusei, actually. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I've noticed that. Still haven't mm -hmm. gotten to know the ninth gen. I watched one showroom, and I don't remember her name. <laughs> Who was it? I don't what remember. Did, what her did she name. look like? Uh, she was leaning up, like, towards the camera. And it just had her face, so I can't really describe, like, anything. Um, uh. I, I'm like, oh, ninth gen opportunity, and then I kind of just forget. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh. And for June the 2nd, we have Nojima Kano, Matsui Jirina, Matsumoto Chikako, Arai Yuki Ego Yuna Obamina, Takeuchi Saki Hidaka Yuzuki, Furuhata Nao, Asai Yuka, Kamata Natsuki, uh, Kumazaki Haruka, Saito Makiko, Suenaga Oka, Suda Akari, and Tani Marika. <laughs> and then I also see that there's stuff on documentaries. Or... Oh, yeah! You mentioned that. So there were five new documentaries. Uh, focused on SKE48 that were released on DTV. Uh, mm -hmm. They were the same streaming service who released uh, Mechanko SKE with 10 E's. Uh, That's what I like to call the show. SKE mm -hmm. with 10 E's. <laughs> so, uh, the first one that has already aired on uh, May the 25th was focused on the 9th Gen Ken Kyusei, about when they started. Uh, I haven't seen it fully i've seen like a couple clips when they were like training and they were getting advice from kalta and then matsui jirina came in and watched them and gave her words of advice really sweet moments from both of them uh -huh. and then so the next ones that are coming up 
Uh, first, there is uh, on June the first, there is a documentary on SK48 upcoming live the end. I think Kyori Matsumura's graduation concert. I don't think it was her graduation concert, but it was oh. like the final concert for the upcoming stage that she did oh. when she was a Kenkusei. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. It's like a like a, a retrospective documentary. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. And then on June the 8th, there is going to be an SK48 uh, second gen special live commentary. That's going to be cool. Mm. Uh, on June 15th, it will be a documentary focused on Gotorara. Uh, no Sugao. So it's going to be focused on her. And then on June 29th, a documentary on Obata Yuna. Ruka, is, uh, the, is the Goto Rara one going to be like Komi's documentary? Because I'm seeing uh, like the age thing. Well, I don't know, but it is going to be focused on like when she was taking her break, when she was focused on studying for college. Mm -hmm. I know it's like going to talk about that. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um. Oh, in case if you're wondering, some I'm actually watching the NBA Finals right now, and the Toronto Raptors are in it. Just to let you know. Oh, cool. Yeah, and like they're battling the ghost the Warriors, and they're like the like the only Canadian team in the NBA, and the first time in the NBA Finals, so it's, it's gonna be um, great. Hmm. You can talk about just the let you know. service, Ruka, or whatever from. Uh, okay. So, uh, Shikigaku has provided or signed with SKE or the SKE company keyholder for a consulting service for the group. Yeah. This is a smart move by keyholder. A very smart move by keyholder, I think. So, uh, the company is going to provide organization consultation services for improving the information. Uh, awareness between the members and the staff, and also communication skills for management enforcement. <laughs> AKS, get this. Yasushi <laughs> <laughs> Akimoto is probably watching this show. <laughs> Akipini? <laughs> Actually, that's one of the comments on the article. <laughs> Funny enough. Of course. But yeah, this is definitely going to help. Again, Keyholder has been on it with SKE. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. then, uh, so uh, in terms of some individual member yeah. news, uh, Soda Sarina, uh, she participated in the Pacific League game. She threw the ceremonial first pitch. I uh, I forget which team it was. I'll have to look up which team it was. I, but I she threw the ceremonial Dragons. first pitch. Oh no, it was the Cebu Lions. Oh, the Cebu Lions. Okay. Oh yeah, and she, she kind of looks like um... the mascot. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying that she kind of looks like the mascot of that baseball team. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but she yeah. was with a uh, member of the idol group Kamen Joshi, uh, Igari Tomoka. Ah, uh, okay, Kamen Joshi. <laughs> Oh. Kind I don't really follow were... Kamen Joshi, but um, Michael it... did uh, tell me about her a little bit when he uh, showed me the video for it. The other group with oh. the masks. Yeah. Oh. And I Igani Tomoka, she, um, I don't know the full details of this, but apparently she was like in an accident and she's oh, actually no. paralyzed from the waist down. Wait, 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 I noticed that, wait, per permanently? Because I know at one point she was standing for a few seconds, actually, near the end of the video. Her, no, 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 no. Like, she's in a wheelchair. Yeah, I know, yeah. Hmm. But somewhere near the end, she was standing, I think, at some point? No, 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 no. You must have been seeing, like, Sarina or something. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, good, okay. But no, like, this This was very nice to see, though, the two of them together. Mm -hmm. And then, also, uh, both Soda Sarina and Matsui Jurina were in... A two-hour special for the uh, quiz show Cream Quiz Miracle 9. 
You like that game show, right? Is that the one where um Neru was on? Neru and Oya Shizuka? Yeah, Neru's been on it. Oya Shizuka is like a regular on it. Hmm. I haven't seen for, it, um, but I, see. I know of the show. Sarina has been on it a couple times before. For for Jirina, this was her first time on the show. Mm. But yeah, it was really cool to see. It's actually kind of funny. She was talk when they were like talking about her, talking about how she had won first place in the Sosenkyo, and Jirina brought up like, <laughs> Oya Shizuka up here. She's like one of my few remaining senpais left in the group. <laughs> And the host was like, oh, do you feel any pressure from still being one of, like, the last few remaining senpais for her? And she's goes like, yes, I made 100th place in the Sosenkyo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jarena's like the fifth oldest overall in terms of experience within the 48 groups. <laughs> that is remaining. You got Michan, Shizuka, uh, Miho... And Yukirin. So they're only four. Yukirin's right like the oldest overall within the 48 group now, right? Well, now after Kylie Matsumura left the group. Yeah. Yeah. And Some still people there. are wondering if she's going to be the one who's going to make it to 30. Um, oh, yeah, Nikki Bingo, they did that, yeah. <laughs> it's possible. I could see it. Uh -huh. Then I guess we can transition to AKB news, now that we're done with it. SKE news. Um, so, um, we talked about the showrooms um, for the Cebu, I guess, competition thing oh, once or whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, we have the results of who won the mm -hmm. competition. Um, Ruka, do you actually have, like, the, the rankings? <laughs> oh, I have them as well, too. Uh, Let go me ahead. look it up real quick. Or... Either oh, one of can you I, can... is fine. Yeah, either well, one. I, okay, I'll say quick. So, um, in the in the end of the showroom competition, the people that actually won the the company get to go on the trip are in first place. We have like teammates Ayana Shinozaki, and then in second place we have teammates Momoko Onoshi, and in third place we got um, teammates Yokoyama or Yokoyama Junior. Wait, I thought Onishi Momoka was first place. Yeah, I heard Onishi Wait, she, was, she, she, she was first? Oh, oh, okay. Because it was kind of going back and forth between her and Ayana? Oh, she was Yeah, it was first. like dead heat between those two, but I think in yeah. the end it was Momoka. Oh, Momoka won. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's, uh, congratulations to her winning. And I mean, like, she had the photo book also last year, too, which is a big boost. Yeah, she's, like, pretty popular in, like, the model work. Oh yeah, and like probably like it's maybe it's gonna get her increase her chance of probably gonna be the center on a single. Ooh, possibly. Hopefully, it could. Hmm. Did she also give the other rankings as well too, Ruka? Uh, I just know uh, that. Have... Didn't Komi get ninth place? Yeah, ninth. Yeah. Uh, See, the thing is, like, um. I didn't really, um, if I had to be honest, uh, like I said, I watched only, like, the last day things, and when they streamed on the last day, because I'm terrible, um, but, um, I actually didn't watch Comey the most, I watched another member <laughs> instead. <laughs> instead, I was Hello. watching Hashimoto Haruna, uh, she ended mm. up getting fifth place overall, mm. um, so yeah, I didn't really watch Komi. <laughs> oh, Komi did a lot of interesting things. Like she did. There were a couple where she was with her dog. Uh, there was a couple where she oh, was with her oh, sister, back. and she actually did some uh, cooking videos with her sister. Oh, I saw them. chip cookies. Yeah, the cookies, and they looked very delicious. They did. Yeah, I like to eat that. I heard her mom was mm. on her showroom again. <laughs> oh yeah, her Call mom was mom. on showroom. I know that she did a joint showroom. It was like with she was Megan. me on. For the, her... What? Oh yeah, there were a lot of special like oh. the guys in most of the showrooms. I mean, like I know like some like in some showrooms. Me never... on, I want to say it was me on and Ami or Sena and Ami. Hmm. I, oh, I know there was one where... it was Sena and me on because I know that they did a Valentine's Day stream together. 
I know there was one where, where Ayana invited, like, uh, me on, and then somehow Rena Kato came in, and then Eri Chib uh, came in for, like, a few seconds. Did you see that showroom? No. I know that Komi and Megu were doing showrooms together on the last day. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, um, Zun, Chan, and who was the third member? There was three of them that there were 16 gen members that did show room together um was one of them ayami yeah so suzuha yeah suzuha zune and then i forgot who the last one was i don't know why mm -hmm. i hope i am blanking on the last member the three mm -hmm. i know they did a show room together on the last day mm -hmm. well, uh, hmm. okay Oh, uh, in case you're wondering the rest of the rankings, so like fourth place was Chiori, Nakanishi, fifth place, TV, fifth place, Team A, Taruna Hashimoto, number six, Colin Jacobson's Oshiman Yukari Isaki from Team B, oh, and the uh, Team A, Suzu Yamani, number eight, uh, um, Team A, Yuna Gyoten, and number nine, uh, Steve's Oshiman Haruka. Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, but were, like maybe for, maybe tell any interesting like short stories of showrooms that you saw during the competition. Interesting stories? Um, no. I just watched Hashimoto Haruna. She's just sitting there, just, just chatting. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't really anything exciting. I did go Haruna. to Machelin's streams a few oh, times, true. and she actually she had a uh, phone conversations with several different members. I noticed that as well, yeah, I was watching the showrooms. She, she talked to Furuhata no, she talked to uh, Takino Yumiko, she talked to Gina from HKT, Kojina Yui. Oh. And oh, yeah. uh, currently Macho Lin now is in Taiwan, back at her home. What? She ah. is? What? What? <laughs> Since when? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> when? For, for a couple days now, she's been back at her home. Oh, God. Mm. And it but, apparently it's making her really happy because she hasn't been home, like since she joined AKB. It was like her first time going back home. First Pretty time? much, yeah. Uh, I think I think uh, it was like something related to uh, her family from like when she posted about it on her Instagram, like some hmm. family issues, like a relative had gotten sick or something. Oh. And so she wanted to be there for. Oh, okay. Best wishes to her family. I hope she's having a good time back in Taiwan. I'm mm -hmm. sure she has been very homesick since since she's been in Japan. Well, so best wishes to her family as well too. Mm -hmm. Well, well, for me, I mean, like there, were, I mean, there's a lot of interesting stories I could talk about the competition. I mean, like there was, I mean, I talked to most of the members. I mean, I'll tell you, probably there, like one interesting moment I saw is actually when I was watching Chiori showroom, and one showroom, like she was like. Saying like a song for like an hour straight, an hour straight, and with the and oh yeah, there were a couple members who did like karaoke streams like Honey with yeah, Mabu, too, yeah. uh, Sasaki Yukari, yeah. uh, Yokoyama Yui, the eight, yeah, yeah, the eight, uh, ha Haruka as well. Komiharu, I don't mm. think she did a karaoke stream, or maybe she did it mm. and I missed it. I probably I did last day. I don't know. But like, the, uh, the, sometimes with some of the members that I follow, if I watch one and then another will start it, it'll be like, oh, which one do I want to watch? Well, there's like a lot to choose from. You can watch Pretty much. Of multiple screens, watch two. Yeah, and in the jewelry one, there was a song where she was like one of those things with the with the ball and she was kind of, she tied her hair and she was like singing the song for like an hour straight. And the songs kind of sounded like da na na da 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 Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't think so I like, saw that, but that sounds really interesting. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Oh, and there was another interesting one in, one like, let's say, Mom Momoka's uh, showroom, where she was asking, uh, like, everyone, like, to give information about the Philippines. And I kind of told her that, like, one of the official languages in the Philippines is Tagalog, and she actually she, she took note of that, and she thanked me for that. Cool. And also, right. one for you... Yeah, one for you, Steve, quickly, yeah. that's like, yes. you're using showroom, it's like with Haruka, it's like, when I was like watching one of her showrooms, I thought she was somewhat at KCON, 
And then I kind of asked her that, and she kind of she nodded. And, although I'm not sure if she was there. And then when uh, she oh yeah, she like, did go to Korea. Yeah, I mean, did she went. To, I was talking about did she go to KCON, like when they were in 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 Tokyo. That no no, but but what I'll tell. But then when I asked her, did you see Eyes One? And she told me like, uh, she, but she she likes Eyes One. She did a bit of Lovey on Rose after that. Cool. <laughs> Just price you. Yeah, and go go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say yeah, we she... can move on to the next topic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Haruka went to South Korea. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So uh, Moki Shinobu and Omori Miyu are cast. Their leading roles in a horror movie, Curtain Call. Curtain Call. Curtain Call. <laughs> For a second, I thought it said Curtain Cat, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Curtain Call. That's uh, going to be interesting. I don't think I'm going to watch that, though, because I'm not the biggest fan of horror. I mean, if I see it up on websites, maybe. Maybe I'll watch it. Mm. Uh. Probably not. Mm. All right. So moving on now to NMB News. Ah, uh, 48. So Ota Yuri has re is going to release a... Uh, Making of DVD for her photo book yeah. on June the 28th. There's a preview for it up on uh, YouTube. Hmm. Hmm, I think if like Mr. J if Josh from the Slow Podcast probably saw, got the, uh, the, the, the documentary, then probably maybe he might watch it and probably give more in-depth analysis of her photo book. That's okay. Sure. Sure, Josh Fox is really uh, good at doing that yeah yeah he is yeah he just did a review of the photo book actually on his youtube channel mm -hmm. in some related photo book news we also have the title for shiroma miru's photo book mm -hmm. uh love rush love i rush. believe the cover is also out for it uh, from like what i saw of the article i haven't seen the cover but just based on 48 talk it's very um yabai and i yabai i'll probably uh, get it in japan i'll probably <laughs> And uh, you can talk about this next one, Jerison, since uh, I'm kind of still unfamiliar with this member. Oh yeah, that the big that big story in MB for you are talking about. Okay, so as we know, like uh, two days ago, it was actually Shion Hori's birthday, who is actually my Oshuman in MB. But for all of you who don't know who she is, I mean, she's the um, a very fun member. I mean, she's kind of you could say like the No Yamada of NGT48. And like she's always, and I mean like before she was my ocean. I know my ocean was Sayaka Yamamoto, mm -hmm. and like after she left the group, well, Shion is now my oceanman. And so like I first found out about her actually when she did a showroom on her birthday last year during the campaign of the AKB48 Tsubasa General Election did last year, mm -hmm. and it was like she did a marathon showroom where she kind of like did. Interview conversation with the rest of the members and also did other things, including like doing a barbecue and playing games. Mm. Well, on her birthday this year, she's uh, 23 years old. She's um she did the same thing again, except she did in one room. Mm. And did I like conversation, and she did conversations with various. And I watched almost the entire thing. It was actually very fun. I actually sent her a a message to her in her showroom, and she actually saw it and thanked me for it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and then there were like she invited various members. She invited like Nagisa Shibuya. She invited like Ayaka Mamoto, also some of her fellow Team N members. I mean, she, then she was in Team N, and then when they did the reshuffle, she moved to Team M after that. And then they also got Rachel Nishi was there and Ari, and like they had like there were like very they uh, as well as other special guests too. And then so like the. In the first half of her marathon showroom, she like did many, and like um, interviews and for and then like th like Nagisa kind of like gave her like uh, ramen for breakfast. Mm. Yeah, and she like and then also like then after that they were like singing songs for a bit and then having like talking about fashion and for a while. Mm. And then in the, the the second half of the showroom, she actually uh, they had like dinner and they had they made like gyoza and they were cooking it. And also doing some uh, games as well too. 
yeah, so, and also, by, by the way, in case, yeah, it was like, the goal of the entire showroom that she was doing this year, Marathon Showroom was doing this year, that she's trying to beat the record she got last year, but she, for sure she actually beat the record. I think she probably had at least 160,000 viewers watching her showroom, I think. Hmm. Yeah, so it's like, um, yeah, it's like it's a fairly great, big uh, birthday party for her, and actually, another thing to also point out is that she also has a YouTube channel as well where she kind of leave, talks about food. And they're actually really great videos, including one video where like she makes butter while doing like while doing the like the dance in Waldo people various times to make it. I'm gonna look at that later. That sounds very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you it later, yeah. Mm hmm All right. I watched uh, a moving couple on hours, next wait. to some HKT forty eight news. I should see, yeah. What? No, yeah, go, go, ahead. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, we're good. Okay, go ahead. so there isn't much HKT48 news, although they did have the uh, farewell concert for Sashi Ararino. Yeah, that, yeah. I uh, I didn't see it, although Jerison did see it. I did. I yeah, saw I watched... a couple clips of it. Yeah, I mean, I watched the entire thing, yeah, because when I was finding out about it, like, first, oh, I'll, I'll let you, Ruka, you go first. Hmm. So I had seen a couple of performance clips, like they did uh, Ogoe Diamond. I saw that. Oh yeah, they did that, yeah. Isn't that and Jarena I saw song? like the Digest video. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, shouldn't they, they sing that during uh, Jarena Matsuri's uh, graduation concert? I mean, it's not Reno's song. I mean, she wasn't in it. No, I, I mean, was her but... favorite song. Well, yeah, she does like the song. Oh, okay, so because she likes it, okay, gotcha, yeah. I mean, we gotta remember Sashi before she joined the group and became the biggest freaking celebrity in Japan right now. She just started out as another fan, a, a complete otaku. Oh yeah, Woda. Mm. So like, it would be no surprise that she took some of her particularly favorite AKB songs and put them in the set list. Mm. Uh -huh. She can do that. Mm. She produced it properly. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, Tomiyoshi Asuka, a former member, made an appearance during the concert. Oh yeah, during the part with the dinosaur, where they performed the live. Yeah, um, I've seen some pictures of that. This has like happened several times, and I have no idea. Why does this dinosaur keep coming up at HKT concerts? Oh, it's a, it's a recurring joke for the group? Apparently, like, this has happened at several concerts. Oh. They just have a dinosaur, blow-up dinosaur come up, and I'm like, what is this doing here? Hmm. What's funny is, is there's a video the of Shige. There's a funny oh. video of Murashige Anna trying to act like a rapper, and she gets eaten by the dinosaur. <laughs> oh. I don't think it's related to a song. Oh I don't know of any HKT song that talks about a dinosaur. Unless if there was a video for that had the dinosaur. I mean, I'm not sure if that there is a video of that song, but I mean... I have yeah. no freaking clue. It just boggles find... my mind. That, like, there's a dinosaur here. Oh, probably we'll find out when, they, when the group probably releases a music video collection box set, probably. Eh, maybe. Yeah. And uh, oh, also and those... at the concert... Oh. Uh, you want to go first? Oh, go, go, go. Oh, I'll, say, I'll, I'll say something. Well, I mean, like, also, um, but during that part as well, the, also in the concert where the, 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 the host that host that hosted, like, HKT Bingo and SK Bingo were there, and they were also eaten by the dinosaur as well. Oh, my goodness. Really? That's funny. Yeah, and also during, like, the concert That's as well, they also, they also kind of did, like, a, a, a live episode of HKT Bingo, like, First they did with like with the fifth gen member, the new fifth gen members, and then they did a segment also with the first gen members actually. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, you'll probably see when you find what, which actually will be included on the the box set of the uh, of Reno's graduation concert. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at the uh, Thanksgiving concert, they also announced that they are going to go on a Kyushu tour starting this July. Mm hmm. So it's going to start in Fukuoka on July 21st, and then the last concert will be in October 22nd in Saga. Saga. Okay. Hmm. 
interesting. I won't see it though. <laughs> I'll be in Nagoya celebrating the Emperor's birthday and my birthday. <laughs> ah, so you're gonna have it's like a very big day on that day. Yeah, the 20th. I mean, like a right. big day. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can move on now to the Sakamichi branch. Uh, with, uh, Nogizaka 46. They released mm -hmm. two music videos for their coupling tracks, mm -hmm. uh, Kasoro and Yobame no Hikari, which that second one is of the fourth gen. Yes. Oh, uh, that video. I didn't see the first one. I was kind of too late because when I was about to watch it like the day and then they released the shorts and I'm like, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I watch all the music videos. Kasoro was the only music video I didn't see. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll tell you about it. Go, go, go ahead. I, I don't... Did you watch Kasuro as well? Yeah, I saw the videos, yeah. Ruka? Yeah. You guys can talk go about ahead. it. Go I, ahead. I yeah, sure, sure. I haven't listened or saw the video. W what are your thoughts on it? I thought the song was very nice. Hmm. It kind of, like, reminded me a lot of... of... Oh. kind of reminded me of the, uh... Of, let's say, the... Maybe the video of... The group's first hit single, Coil the Curtain, has look like that. Really? Yeah, with like the little like uh, with the uh, with the with the curtains and the lighting as well. Mm -hmm. But it also kind of reminded me also of uh, the video for maybe of Come On Shampoo and also Equal Love's like recent hit single, kind of like that as well. There were a lot of location suits in this one. Oh yeah, they shot it in like a how a, a school. We're talking about the the visi of the fourth gen track. No, we're talking about the Kasaro. Oh, the other one. Oh, that one. Oh, wrong video. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna tell you the fourth gen one first. I okay. I saw the fourth gen one. That's oh the, okay. So uh, I thought it was a okay. I was one. I was lost. <laughs> like I thought one. you were talking about Kasaro. Wait. Oh. Well, oh, we the, were. Uh, the, the Undergirls track? Yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah Yobame no Hikari, no, I know what you mean. That it was like some of en Nogizaka's like first singles. Like, yeah, yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah, although it was dark with the lighting. Mm. I didn't think it was that dark. But it's not that dark, no, no. I mean, they, 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 the <laughs> gang at the Soap Park has kind of like mentioned that. <laughs> Mm. Uh, speaking oh, oh. of the fourth gen, they had also released their uh, personal TV trailers for each of the individual members' yeah, uh, appeal videos. I didn't watch. No, those. me neither. <laughs> no, because I'm probably gonna watch it on the Blu-ray. Well, some of them. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the fourth gen, although I did enjoy Yomba Meno Hikari. Oh, and also don't forget the traitor Yuri Kirigawa, <laughs> who's from San, from San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> but like, just from like some of the lyrics that I heard in the song. It's definitely the song is talking about the members being part of the group now. Hmm. The As orc? for Kasoro, hmm. talking about that now. The Undergirls track. Song. The Undergirls track. That one, yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh, hold on, you, Go ahead. you guys <laughs> talk about it. Oh, okay. You, you saw it, Steve? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't see Kasoro. Okay, so I'll say, well, I watched the video and it's, yeah, it's great. I mean, like... It kind of like looks like the uh, last pe women on earth because I mean in this video we see mm -hmm. the undergirls in this track like going around like Tokyo when it's like mm -hmm. kind of like almost empty <clears throat> and throughout the video they kind of like showed like places that I kind of like recognize because like I know I went to like Tokyo during my trip to Japan last year mm -hmm. and I recognize some of the places they went to like Tokyo Bay and uh, Ginza and even like Shibuya Shuffle which during that section of the video, it kind of like, uh, like, like, kind of like they're kind of like remaking the bit of the video of ambivalent. Mm. Okay, guys, guys, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I I gotta go. Oh. I gotta leave. I uh, my grandmother is here with us, and she I have to spend the night with her. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, have a great time, and probably see you soon. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. I like there was. There was some other stuff like here that I wanted yeah. to talk about, but I really have to go because she's really tired right now. Well, we'll, we'll get to it quick, yeah. No, 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 no. It's okay. Uh, it. Well. 
Okay, like she she is she is really tired, so I really have to go. I'm really sorry, guys. Oh, oh no, it's but it's fine, like fine, nice fine, to fine. talk like likes talking to you, and probably I'll see you soon. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, bye. Again, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm gonna oh, go, no, so good, I'll see you later. Talk to you later. Yeah, bye, Ruka. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, and now it's just a one-on-one -on -one conversation now. Yeah. So this we're gonna guy. go to. Uh, so uh, so, okay. So go ahead. Okay, so, the, um, let's see, what was it? So, an update on the single sales news. Um, oh, the, the single, yeah. yeah. So I, got, far, I, got, I, got, I got the single. I got the single. Yeah, I got version B. Although, it's going to be in the mail probably like next week. So far, yeah. the single has sold 858,000 copies on the first day. Um, oh, that's... Ranked number one on Oricon singles. Number one? Oh, yeah, it's expected. Um... Then besides that, there's nothing really else. And then also, uh, Nogizaka is going to be performing "Sing Out" on Music Station. Um, oh yeah, today. Music Station tomorrow. Today oh, is it, is it? Oh yeah, today or that's that, that's to, yeah, as well as tomorrow here. Yeah. Yeah. So today in Japan, yes. they are going to be performing. Um, so they're going to put go on full on gospel on their performance. Do you think? Pr probably. I mean, it seems like I, that's what they're going to be doing. It's a very gospel. I mean, like it's like. Well, I mean, it's going to be a very... What, what do you think is going to happen in the performance, do you think? Um, I mean, I feel like it's going to be kind of musical-like, maybe. Well, they might do like a one-shot where like they go around the studio, I think, maybe? Like, the posse might do that? Mm, possibly. I'm not too sure. I don't really watch Music Station that much, so mm -hmm. I don't know how Music Station works. It's probably a big studio, so they could do something. Hmm. Okay, yeah. And then for the last piece of Nogizaka news, um, Zombie is getting their own haunted attraction. Oh yeah, um, the Zomb the rivals Zombie the Ride. I just found out about when I was watching Slow Podcast yesterday. Yeah. Um, do you know where it's gonna be at? <laughs> uh, I think it's somewhere in Tokyo, but I mean we could probably find uh well probably find information about that probably. Okay. Should I explain the event? Uh, yes, if you can, please. Okay, so in, in this um, ride, I mean, I know this is a ride involving the, the show Ozambi, which before that there was a play, and um, in this, um, like, the ride, I mean, like, it's it involves an escape room where you kind of, like, are put in the world of the show, and you kind of, like, probably have to do things you should do in an escape room. But during the, the ride, there's a possible chance that you'll probably see some of the people in the show, in this case, like, actual members in the group. Mm. But either, but right now it's unknown if they're going to be there, or like, through a screen, or in, like, in person, but, I mean, if they were there in person, that would make it, like, a very realistic experience. Mm. And I also found out that in this escape room, there's, um, there's actually different endings, at least three different endings that can kind of, depending on, on the out on how you engage with the with the ride, so this is probably gonna be an interesting ride. I mean, I was kind of, when I found out about that, I was thinking maybe they could have did a ride involving Maji Murray Gakuen, where they you're in the world of <laughs> Gosaki Land, yeah, sorry, and you're and you kind of engage with the people in that show. Hmm. My... So if you're in Japan, go to that ride. Okay, wait one sec. My computer is dying right now. <laughs> it's very oh, uh, it's, but right I can still see you. It's all good, you know. I can still see you. Okay, it's going back down. Okay, so that that's all for the Nogi news. Oh, going okay. To but... the Kayak. I'm not really good doing news by myself. <laughs> that's why I have Ruka with me. But, I'm, uh, but you have me too. Yeah. I can get, get help you too. Yeah. So. For the Kei Akizaka news, uh, there's only one piece of news that we have, and that is Kei oh. Akizaka is going to be holding their Kei Republic from July 7th to the 9th. I believe it's going oh, yeah. to be at Fuji Q again, I would assume, maybe? Wait, is that where Kei Oh, like Republic last year? Be? I would assume like, probably like, that's like, where like, it'll be. Oh, that would be big, like, a fest. I mean, like, hopefully it won't be as, like, as hot as last year with the heat wave they had last year. Yeah, it was really hot. It was getting into yeah, like the they, hundreds. I heard. And they had to like, and they had to like blow the bubbles to cool the audience. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they can uh, do more well, like water stuff. 
like they did last oh, that year. Could... Oh, that too. So, like, what are your predictions for the uh, for the for Kiak Republic this? What do you think is going to happen? Um, let's see. Tetchi is definitely going to perform. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. I I hope she performs. Um. <laughs> Let's see, because it's going to be a three-day event. Maybe I'm thinking maybe the second gen will do one day, maybe, so they can get more experience. I would like oh, for yeah, them to, to do that. To introduce them more. That would be, yeah. So I can see them maybe doing that. Um, <laughs> besides that, that's really all that I can think of. <laughs> hmm, I'm also kind of like do. predicting maybe they might announce their next single or album that might be a possibility uh let's see um kurei hitsuji came out and um when did that come out that, that came out like march? february was it february march fe 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 february 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 yeah so i maybe actually they might announce the next single they might announce the next single oh i mean i know last year they released like Class in Oware around like spring, and then they release in Bivol in like August, like last year. Yeah, I can definitely see them announcing their next single. But, I mean, Possibly. maybe they might announce their next album, maybe album. I don't think that they're gonna release another album until maybe like a couple more years, maybe like another year mm. or two, so they can get more um, like oh. uh, their main songs on there. Because yeah, they so far released up until Fukio One, I believe. Oh yeah. So that means in, right now they have four singles right now so far for the next album. Yeah, I think that they're four gonna singles. do maybe a couple more singles. Uh huh. Before they release another album. Oh yeah, because they released eight in total. So yeah. So that's not really that. Much. Okay. Um, oh okay. Hmm. Next story. Yes. And then on to um. Hinatazaka 46 news. Uh, um, uh. So Hinatazaka is going to become a cheer manager for Coca Cola Stage Zero. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Coca Cola. St oh, it's like maybe uh, um, uh, uh maybe a, uh, like a uh, like a auditor like, like a theater probably for 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 performances. I'm not sure. Maybe. I, I I think Ruka is the one that put that in the news. I'm not really too familiar uh, with most of the news that she writes down, uh, but um. Oh, so maybe they're like a, they're like a, like spokesperson people for the for the stage. Like maybe, to promote it because this is a cheer manager, so maybe they're going to be like cheerleaders or something along the lines of yeah, that. Yeah, I maybe mean, they appear in commercials and ads for the stage. Probably. Probably. And it's for Coca-Cola, so I mean, they're probably going to do something with Coca-Cola, maybe as well, too. And for the summer, too. And then, also along with that, uh, they're going to participate in Stage Zero's 100 Hours of Esports playthrough. So that's that's interesting. They're going to be promoting, I guess, esports <laughs> as well. And they're going to probably be play as well. I mean, are there any members in Hiyazaka that, that do esports? I'm not sure if there's any that game i know that there's some in uh Kayaki zaka that play games but i'm not sure about uh hinata zaka well, we'll, we'll wait and we'll wait and find out we'll wait and find out mm -hmm. and then i guess going out to eyes one news uh you can talk about the eyes <laughs> one news because i'm not really I'm know eyes one that much Oh yeah, well I'm I'm following them because they're like very big in North America right now, surprisingly. Okay, so there's actually only one. There's well, there's two big stories actually. I found out. Uh, like the first one is that earlier this week they released the you could say sneak peek or commercial of the uh, of their next hit single and which is also their next Japanese single, Buenos Aires. I didn't watch it yet because I know I'm gonna wait till I watch the video to actually see what it will look like. But when I was watching like. This week's episode of Forty Eight Talk, they were like saying, based on what they said about it, they said that hmm, this might be a bit of risque music video, but it, because it was K-pop, but I mean, like, but also like, if they said that if the song music in the the, the sneak peek actually like sounds is what is actually going to be in the song, it's probably going to be a really great song. 
So we're probably going to have to wait and find out till the video is probably going to release maybe tomorrow or Saturday. Hmm. We'll wait and find out. Okay. Oh, and this the second big news, actually, Rook actually put this in the notes. We found out that they'll be performing on Uticon. I'm not sure which episode, but I mean, oh, they're going to be on performing NHK Hall on when they do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's surprising. They're on Uticon. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be on Uticon. Mm. I mean, do you watch Uticon? Um, I've seen a few performances on Uticon, but I have not. Um, I don't really watch it every year. Oh no! So. It's, 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 oh, doesn't you air weekly? It's um, on NHK. I don't think. Two's... I think it's just. I think it's just a special. Like they do, like a particular oh, time special... probably every year. Oh. Oh, the special episode. Oh, special episode. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so it's like, do you think that there maybe some of the members might be doing Enka, probably? Like, maybe uh, Sakura could probably do Enka? I, I honestly don't see them doing Enka. I can just see them doing... No, like, 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 like Sakura, or like uh, Nako, or like uh, Hitomi. I, no, I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't see them doing Enka. <laughs> what happens if they surprisingly do it? I mean, I'll be surprised if they do Enka. <laughs> I honestly I mean, would be surprised, but unless it, maybe they probably will sound good probably when they when they do Inca. I mean, we know you you Yukarin does Inca too, on Uticon regularly. Yukarin. Mm. Oh hey, yeah, and the, that's all the news we have to go through. And then there's one more for Aizuan. They're going to appear oh, in Shibuya Note on June first, so I'm guessing this is a concert. Or... Oh, maybe an event, probably an Wait, event. Event? This is an event. Maybe on June. Maybe 1st. event, probably. So this will maybe, be maybe... tomorrow in Japan. Oh, so that tomorrow? Yeah. Wait, tomorrow. Oh. Hmm. Gonna well, well. Pro... Shibuya note. So we're probably gonna probably I'll see some reports from that. Probably. Hmm. Hmm. So that's all the news. Uh, there's still some left to go. Oh, okay. So Good. for. The okay. international group news. Um, BNK oh. is going to be joining TIF this year in August. Um, oh yeah, we're at Tokyo Animal Festival. I, I'm really happy for BNK. They're doing really, really well. So the, yeah, they're doing the very fact that success. they are doing are going to be in TIF is really great. Yeah, and they also made probably like the the like the. Best like song in AKV making in a very long time with Bye Bye Plastic, yes, which is an original. Mm. Yeah, and they also did that uh, collaborate. They're going to do that collaboration with the Ska when they, I mean, they announced that in, in, in an event and like they're doing do some YouTube videos, which could get them more attention. Mm. Oh yeah, and oh, wait, wait, and being yeah, and uh, oh, and they're also doing that Sports Day as well too. Yes, I actually heard about the Sports Festival because of Colin. Oh yeah, um, they're talking 48 talk as well yeah. too. Yeah. So maybe I'll watch the sports festival. If, yeah, I can find, if I can find a stream, I'll probably watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, and then for uh graduated news, we have. Oh wait, well actually before before we go to that, oh, I'd yes, like, yes, well, yes. add we'll add one bit of a a note for um thing. Some MNL forty eight news. I'm just oh, gonna get yes. it. Hold, hold on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait one second. Is um, my computer dying? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think your call dropped for like a few seconds. I just gotta get this thing. Hold on. Hold on. Almost got it. Um, just finding it. Uh, oh, it's like, uh, how's the weather right there right now in Ohio? Um, rainy. <laughs> rainy? Well, here it's, like, sunny. And also, like, maybe a bit hot as well. Oh. Mostly rain. Rain, too? Oh, 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 hold on. I think I skipped it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm still trying to find it. Figure it. Right? Uh, hold on. Oh wait 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 wait! Uh, I think I got. Hold on. Uh. Oh, so. okay. I almost got it. Here it is. Oh, why did it crash? Them. Oh, so uh, did did you get the the single sing out? Did you get sing out? 
Uh, no, I did not get sing out. Um, but I mean, like, maybe when I'm in Japan, I'll get it because I have to save up money right now. Okay, I got it. Okay, so in MNL48 news, there's been an announcement that somehow that three members in MNL48 will be be in be starry in a film that will be released in Japan. They'll be in like a live action version of a of a manga called Say Kimatsu Blue. Hmm. Yeah, it's like and I know in this one we have there there will be three members from the group that will be in it, and those members are uh, Abby, uh, uh, hmm. Bree, and Colleen going to be in this film. So it's, maybe it's like it's a big boost for them. I mean, like, I mean, this might be a hit. I mean, I also want to thank Matt Henderson for giving me this tip. But I mean, there's a hint that's probably that they, this might, that they might do a concurrency maybe at AKB? Possible concurrency? I don't know, maybe. I mean, they probably might, might announce it maybe when, like, when Momoka, Ayan, and Yi, Yo, coming on from Team A, go to Cebu. And here's the thing about this. I'm also thinking that maybe during it, they might announce a sister group that has the, the members that were removed in the MML 48 Sabasa general election this year, which I know most of us are probably going to say it's the worst election of all time in AKB world. Yep. Yep. And that's a bit of MML 48 news. Okay. Huh. Then moving on to the graduated news. Mm -hmm. Um. So, Kimoto Kanan, former SKE mm. member, joined the cast mm. of a TV drama... Sh oh my god, I can't even say this. I think it's German. Shonen R <laughs> Rigger. I cannot. I, Shonen Rigger? I, I don't I Oh, don't it's, know. A German, it's a German title I, in Japanese? I, I think it's a German title. Uh, Noraka no Niwa. I think it is in Japanese. Oh. N Noraka no Niwa. Uh, so, mm. Kimoto Kanan is getting... Some more uh, drama related stuff, so mm. that's good. That's good, so that she'll get she'll mm. be seen more. That's yeah, good. as well as Kitaru Rie is going to be guest starring in Kishiryu Sentai, uh, real slug, real slugger movie. Oh, that, that sounds more German again. Sorry, more I, German. I'm I'm only reading what's on this Google Doc here. I don't know if sounds that's a typo. German. I don't know if it's a typo. <laughs> so because it, it's, it's, it's a Sentai movie so i'm Sentai. so I'm, I'm assuming that it's gonna be quite wacky <laughs> oh okay so that's gonna be interesting um as well as nishino miki is gonna be guest appearing in secret warrior phantom mirage phantom mirage uh -huh. um i don't know what kind of show that is if anything yeah. see Ruka uh, would be watch. better described in this because she knows uh. her dramas and stuff Maybe we'll talk about that ne next time, probably. Yeah. Uh, Imazu uh, Yui is cast in the drama Kurogoro B drama. Ah, uh, first the... big one uh, after she left mm. Keiaki Zaka. Yes. Oh. Um, hmm. And then, in other news, um, I can talk about her because she's not in the group anymore. So Yamaguchi <laughs> Maho uh. signed with Kenon. The talent agency. Oh yeah, she's um, now with the. Uh, which is big yeah. news. Ah, that's good. And I'm and happy hopefully for her. she'll, and hopefully she'll get uh, better treatment than when she was at NGT. Uh, she will definitely get better treatment because I heard Kenon is one of like the bigger, uh, entertainment companies. If I. Well, so, I'm happy mm. for her. And then also at the same time, she had to restart her social media. She deleted oh, like, yeah. all of her posts as well because of this, uh, the contract uh, that she made with Kenan. Oh, so she has to remove the old account and replace it with a new one. Well, no, she still, has using the, she still has the old account. She just deleted all the posts. Oh, so she like like a complete wipe of all those tweets. Yeah, and also her uh, Instagram as well. She deleted everything oh. off her Instagram. So it's the same account still. Same account. Yeah, it's still. It's Still the same account. Yeah, and she changed the picture as well too. Yeah. And then Yeah, I mean like mm. but I mean like it's probably gonna be like that she's probably gonna be on a lot of variety shows probably. Yeah, I can see her getting into a lot of dramas. Oh, and modeling too. Modeling too. 
Oh, can I also add something about that too? Because I'm also kind of noticing with another mem former NGT party member that left, uh, Riku Sakurahara, her best yeah. friend, some of her most recent tweets, it's kind of like, um, where she kind of looks like a bit of like lifestyle. So I mean, she might be doing something in life and style probably. Hmm. I was kind of thinking when I saw these pictures, it's kind of like, hmm, maybe she could probably do uh, some life and style program on NHK. I'm thinking hmm. about that. She'd be perfect for that, yeah. It kind of reminded me of that uh, show on NHK World, that you should, like, At Home with Venetia and Kyoto. It's kind of like that. Hmm. Kind of with those pictures in her recent tweets. Hmm. Okay, yeah. And then moving on to the last thing. Um, this also involves, you know, our good friend at the Slope podcast. Uh, J- slow pod- so, so Josh Box and Swoltaku, also Jimmy, Josh and Jimmy, they did Jimmy. an interview with former NMB captain... Emika Kamieda. Oh yeah, that big, the big, the big interview they got, and I thought MMB Forty Takayaki Party was gonna get it first, or Forty Talk <laughs> Two, but they got the gig. Yeah, I'm really happy for the Slow Podcast to be able to do this. It's quite amazing. That yeah, it's a great it. interview, and also congratulations to uh, Jimmy, Josh, Boy, and the rest of the gang at the Slow Club for make, doing a, a North American exclusive interview. Um, Did you I watch saw, the interview? Uh, yeah, I watched the whole thing. Oh, I watched it as well. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah. So go go through it if you like. Yeah. Um, let's see. My memory is kind of terrible, but they did ask her one second. Mm. Mm. Okay. Something happened? No, nothing. nothing. Um. Oh, okay, okay, but, gotcha. But they um, it was great energy. They had a lot of great questions. They talked about like what her experience was after graduating, what she's doing currently now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else did they talk about? They talked about her photo book. Oh, yeah, the photo book she... Yeah. That she just released and what the process of her going through that photo book were. Um, overall, like, her English is really good. Like, I was actually really surprised. Yeah. With her she, she she learned it immediately after she left M and B for me, but she, and also at the same time she was also learning Spanish as well too. So yeah. she's still learning Spanish, but she's actually really great speaking English actually. Mm. But was, there's also they also mm. yeah they were also talking about kind of about like the mindset of going back and forth between uh, speaking English and Spanish, and she kind of used the post mm. like there was a little like joke where they say that when I'm actually talking in like um like Jack. Like, I think French, I think, talking in Japanese. Hmm. That, that joke, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I can understand, because that happens to me as well. Oh, just you too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, overall, it was a great interview. Yeah. But also, during the interview, they kind of also, like, talked a bit about the Avengers Endgame. So, for anyone who have not seen the film yet, probably do not watch the interview, because they, they, they give away some spoilers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they also answered like uh, quite. They also answer, she answered questions from uh, from fans, and I actually did send her a question, although it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, asked. But I mean, they they asked her a lot of great questions about yeah. like what to do, what should I do in Spain, as well as what like also like how does she still see former members, and also uh, she talks about like uh, like what sh- what she does. What what does she have any creative like decisions mm. when she's uh when she's the captain of Team B? Hmm. Yeah, hmm. It was, yeah, it was a very interesting interview. I'd recommend you guys watching it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, during most of, most of the interview was mainly focusing on her like after um like she left. I mean, they talked a bit about her when she was in the group. I mean, they could have talked a bit more about her time in the group, but maybe because of of management rules. But I mean, yeah, it's a great interview. and like also. In the end, they say that she might do more. She'll probably do more interviews with them, hmm. and probably maybe invite special guests in her views. Maybe Sayaka and Miyuki Wananabe probably could be with her, and they talk to her. Who then. knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. Who knows? Mm-hmm. And then getting on to the very last part of the news, the other idols' news. Yeah. There isn't of oh, that much. <laughs> oh yeah. Within the past, oh, there's only three things that I have for uh-huh. right now. Uh, the first one is that ID and Fly Loom, they release a new mu- music video, Carousel Syndrome. 
mm-hmm. um, within the past week. Um, mm-hmm. Pretty good song. I like it. Um, okay, song? Okay. Then also, Denpin Gumi Inc., they released a new music video. Uh, I cannot pronounce the music video name. If Ruka oh. was here, she would know because she knows Japanese more than me. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. just know it has Ko to start off with. Uh-huh. Um, gotcha. And then for the last thing of um, other idol news is that um, Oyasumi Hologram, I saw them in November. They just released uh, a new album called Five uh, yesterday in Japan. So, uh, uh, congratulations on the album. I hope, I hope it does very well. Um, I hope I think it's on Spotify. So if you have a yeah, Spotify yeah. account, you can go and listen to that. Yeah, album. I'll probably find it on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So other than that, that's that's everything. <laughs> Yeah, but we're not done yet, maybe, because we have the TV show roundup. Well, I depending mean, on how many shows we watched. I honestly... Did we say I didn't watch any shows. If I, uh, <laughs> this I time around, I didn't watch. I only watched a few. I only watched, like, a bit of, like, uh, like the most recent episode of AK Bingo and of the Hina Bingo, including Hina Room. Well, I'll just do a quick summary of the most recent episode of AK Bingo, which is... Probably pretty much almost the entire, which is a three-part episode where they did the the baseball segment. Okay. Yeah, and they uh, like, and then they during where they when they hit the ball, they have to give like confessions, and but and uh, something to highlight from the episode is like when, when like Mo when like uh, Haruka from Yaharu had said something about like Moaka being like sneaky during handshake events, mm-hmm. with the with the it was like somehow like when. She, during when they were doing a handshake event in like around Christmas time, they were like something with the with, with the clothes they were wearing. She was kind of a bit sneaky and removed something from the, the from the, the clothes, and it's like very sneaky. And then there was like another interesting moment from like uh, where they showed like a bit of like archival footage of like of Yui Yui, like when she was twelve years old, <laughs> and like I mean like she kind of looks like her at age twelve, kind of looks like. Maria Imamura from HKT when she, like today and also they also showed a bit of like archival footage of Pasca mm-hmm. when uh, Ayutaro like also from age when she was and then there was another from actually I remember I actually talked to really a lot in the um, showroom uh, Team Force Kyokatada who was also the one of the who was in Fortune Cherry on the the Junkin tr- single la- last year Kyoka mm-hmm. yeah and she uh, her like little res- confession was kind of interesting and it ends with uh arigato sai it was like very, although she got an out when she uh when she did that mm. so it's like but also interesting about this is that also reno sashi hara was in this episode though it was like filmed before she left the group mm. and during the, like well at least the the like the, the first two parts of the episode i watched so far it's like she also kind of thanks people and also about her time on the show, and also thank the crew as well, including especially uh, one of the of the of the people in the control room. Mm. Yeah. So the the third part of the episode aired this week, but I haven't I didn't watch it yet. But I'll probably will watch it and and probably see what who wins the the segment. Mm. Um, mm. Actually, that's a very quick uh, TV show roundup. Actually. Yeah, because I didn't watch any shows at all, so I have no. Clue. Yeah. Nothing to yeah, I'll we'll probably watch probably more and probably catch up on shows too. Yeah, mm-hmm. and with, I think that that's that's the episode actually. I think. Yeah, that's pretty much the episode. Yeah, I just want to say like thank you, Steve, and also thank you, Ruka, for inviting me to be on the show. I mean, I have had a no lot problem. of fun talking about Japanese idol groups, and I hope to maybe like come back on the show again and maybe yeah, yeah, sure. well, if it's available and like and probably like talk more about things oh and one more thing to notice, notice but like behind me as well there was also a wall i actually make in the house of showing the various photos of members of the group in akb48 and groups as well as some of like my favorite members too i mean i know i like to sh- but i'll probably let me show it maybe when everyone is here probably in a, in a later episode mm-hmm. maybe when like rook and michael here as well i mm-hmm. can't wait to see michael too yeah he just had to go to sleep he had something to do yeah, I mean, but we'll do we'll we'll the next episode. Yeah, so actually, yeah, that's that's hope to be back on the show soon. Yeah, so that's it for this episode, guys. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.